Hey guys, this is a quick demo of how to um, use Sharp DX uh, to generate some really nice dynamic backgrounds uh, for your uh, Xamarin Metro apps. So let me just run this. Okay, so it's all it does is there's okay. So that looks great. Um, that there is uh, there's a radial gradient applied to this white background. All of that's rendered on a direct two D surface, um, and there's a XAML layer on top of that, uh, what you call direct 2D surface, and that uh, XAML contains these four tiles for these four rectangles, and they're found in a inertial canvas, which is what I created last um, last blog post, and you know that inertial canvas lets you um, inertially scroll things in them, so these four, these four Rectangles are they're, they're um, tilt tiles that I've also created. They're similar to the ones that are found in the Windows Phone. And when you click them, it's going to go. What's going to happen is it's going to go off and it's going to re-render the direct 2D surface, which is currently white with this um, radial gradient of um, transparent to black. Um, it's going to render a bunch of geometries in there, and it's going to change the color um, and keep the radial gradient. So like this one here is just going to dominate, create a bunch of orange ones with um, which, with rectangle um, geometries, which are uh, actually squares. And this is this is a green one. It's blue. So yeah, so you can um, now that you know we Sharp DX gives us access to the entire Direct Two D, Direct Three D um, libraries. We can do some pretty nice things. Um, in our Xamarin Metro app, that makes it less boring. So yes, yeah, so a radial gradient, some shapes, and if I show you the um, run this, the performance of this, it's actually pretty decent. So by de um, once it refocuses, it's gonna take a while. I have to take my word for it. It sits at zero on average. On by default, it's less than one percent CPU, because what's happening is that when as soon as we finish rendering the direct two D surface, we stop the rendering um the loop the direct DTD direct X loop, um and it no longer needs to cycle through, and that's why it brings the CPU back down to near zero percent. So yeah, so you, it doesn't it um just because you use direct X doesn't mean you have to have a loop that runs forever. Um, you just run it when it's needed and then turn it off after it's finished. And in my case, it's finished once it's rendered the the background. And then it stops. And it's pretty nice. So, yeah, please consider creating some really nice backgrounds for your Metro app, even if you're in XAML, um, in a XAML uh, managed app, use uh, SharpDX to build your really cool backgrounds.